what's up everyone it's your fave niger kiwi coming to you live from down under kia ora now my harimai this video is all about residence visa from work there are three of these visas that will be opening in september 2023 which you should know about but before we go into that subtle reminder to like my video and my other videos as it helps with the youtube algorithm you all know these things are getting smarter and smarter and smarter by the day so like my videos by clicking the thumbs up button. YouTube recommends it to people like you who need it. Now let's get into the topic of this video. One way to migrate to New Zealand is through work. And like I said in my previous video on this topic, the government has created a list called the Green List containing roles in demands in New Zealand. Depending on the role that you have secured, you can come to New Zealand on a work visa and apply directly for residence. Or you can come to New Zealand still on a work visa and apply for residence after two years of working in New Zealand. I have discussed everything you need to know about the former which is applying directly and the video is up on my channel. Follow this link, this one here, or you go directly to my channel. I'll also link it in the description box. For this video that you are watching, I'll be talking about the letter, which is called Work to Residence Visa. Work to Residence Visa is like a straight to residence visa in the sense that it is a type of green list visa and many of the requirements that apply to straight to residence visa also apply here. However, you can only apply for this role if you are working for an accredited employer and that your role is a tier two role and you have been working in that role for at least 24 months what this means is that at the time you apply for this visa you must be working for or have a job offer from an accredited employer your employment must be permanent and full-time of at least 30 hours per week or a fixed term of at least 12 months you must for 24 months you must have been working in a green list tier 2 role and meet the rules green list requirements with this visa, you can live, work, study in New Zealand indefinitely and you can include your partner and your dependent children of up to 24 years in your resident application. The requirements for this visa are the same as straight to residence visa. So I implore you to watch that video because I will only be discussing the aspect that is unique to work to residence visa in this video, which is that the acceptable employment should be for a role in tier two of the green list and you must have worked in a tier two green list role for at least 24 months before you apply that 24 months must be completed within 30 months of the date you apply also for all that 24 months you must have held one or more of these visas which are an accredited employer work visa or an interim visa issued while waiting for your accredited employer work visa to be granted critical purpose visitor visa with work conditions or any other type of work visa you must have held or applied for this visa before july 2022 you already know that you need to meet health and character requirements but they're letting you know that the fact that you made it for a temporary visa like accredited employer work visa does not mean that you meet it for work to residence visa these are the key differences in requirements between the straight to residence visa and the work to residence visa what are the supporting documents that you need for this visa i have discussed this in details in the straight to residence video so check that out for this one i'm just going to highlight the ones that are pertaining to this work to residence visa alone and that is really about the evidence of acceptable employment that you need to show. The evidence of acceptable employment can be a previous or current employment agreement or a job offer from an accredited employer that will show your hours, how much you earn, the position, and you know, the basic employment information that someone needs to know. You also need a summary of your earnings from inland revenue confirming your 24 months of work. I have a video on my channel that talks about setting up IRD accounts. You should check that out. And they may also need more evidence, for instance, like a full bank statement. The process and the application cost are the same like the straight to residence visa, and it depends on where you are applying from. Things to know for this visa is that your 24 month doesn't have to be completed in one period. 
So for example, you can complete your 24 months of work in two 12 months period with a six month gap in between. Parental leave can be counted in your 24 months of work. If your green list role is removed from the list after you started in it, your time in that role can be counted towards your 24 months of work. And if you need tips on how to ace your IELTS exams, I have two videos on my channel just for that. For more information on this work to residence visa, visit the visa fact sheet. The next visa is the K Workforce Work to Residence Visa. This visa is for those who are currently working for an accredited employer and have worked in the K Workforce sector for 24 months. It is similar to Work to Residence Visa. The only difference is that your role does not have to be on the green list. For work requirements, you must have worked for 24 months in a K Workforce role in New Zealand that paid you the level 4 support workers minimum wage, pay ARA rate or more and this amount is $28.25 per hour and these are the K workforce rules. Both work to residence visa and K workforce work to residence visa are opening on the 29th of September 2023. If you are interested, start preparing. To apply for this visa, you must have an employment or an offer an employment in a role that pays twice the median wage. Currently, that means $59.32 an hour. You also should have been working in that role for 24 months, that role that pays you twice the median wage. And your employer must be accredited at the time you apply for this visa. Acceptable work in New Zealand can also count towards this visa if you hold or have held an accredited employer work visa or held another work visa or a critical purpose visitor visa with work conditions and you held it or applied for it before 4th july 2022 acceptable work in new zealand can be counted from 29 september 2021 there can be small breaks in your employment but you must still show you worked for the required 24 months within the 30 months period before your visa application this is similar to what I said about K Workforce Sector Work to Residence Visa. And this visa is also going to be opening from September 2023, just like the other two that I've mentioned. I hope this video has been helpful. Please like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. You all know I should be at 50K by now, right? <laughs> so anyway, like, share, and if you're new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe and join the community. See you in the next video. Bye now.